Hey, Lucky Seven's here. Late to the Brawl upload, but fuck it. <laughs> Wanted to showcase the Savage Hunter Brawl deck. For anyone that missed the event, don't worry about it. I know the format is coming back, and you can look here or at the official website for the deck list if you want to copy it. But this first playing of the new cards was a fun one. It showcased a format I'm not going to get into regularly, but feels like the casual play I'd be looking for. Really, it's like standard singleton, but better because at least you'll have that one linchpin in the deck you can keep trying to get on the board and be impactful. What drew me to this deck in particular was how incredibly spiky it was. There was times I would get Mayhem Devil or Priest of the Forgotten Gods and it was over. And if they had the removal for that, there was a better chance my commander was coming down usually to sacrifice something inconsequential and draw me a card. Really, my hype for Corvold is high, as I'm sure a few are seeing the borderline potential in each of the Brawl Commanders. They're great for it, and the decks they have can be spiced into something great. But the real question is, are they good enough for Standard? Short answer, I hope so. Really, I'd give a solid 60% chance one of them is going to make it. Betting on Corvold, and as usual, I'll do it my goddamn self if no one else does. This deck has an overflowing cup of options that really benefit from having 4 ofs, particularly with the 3 drop slot. Judith, Mayhem Devil, Chandra the Acolyte One, Legion Warboss, Cranko, and probably even more I'm missing. And honestly, I'm off the Gilded Goose hype in most decks. It's not Land of War Elves, and I don't think it was meant to be. But here in the Jun Sacrifice deck, it could be very good, making that 0-2 that we can sacrifice later, or just, uh, you know, playing it to ramp us up. It has the possibility of leaving the food there and having a 0-2 to sacrifice and a food to sacrifice later to pump him or to sacrifice off of Corvold's trigger. There's a possibility you're just supposed to splash a touch of green instead of using the Gilded Goose and just use the Rakdos Sacrifice deck that's kind of already, you know, poking around standard. It's not a tier one deck. I see it from time to time though and it already exists. So that's a good piggyback point, you know, stand on the shoulders of giants and then make the actual Jun Sacrifice deck. Or maybe it's supposed to go for a more control shell, capitalizing off of constant token generators like Liliana, Garrick, the new one, which looks so dope. Or, unlikely, but still maybe, we're supposed to splash in the fourth color, as white gives us a lot of token generation, especially when combined with Boros cards and Celestia cards. Blue even gives us the new Oko and the ability to toss Hydroid Crisis in there if we want to be particularly greedy. But who knows? I don't want to theory craft too much as the full set hasn't been dropped yet even though as I make this video is probably coming out tomorrow the next day but that's gonna be what I save for Tuesday I'll post a video talking about 10 cards that I really really want to make into something good and 10 cards that I actually think are gonna be the best in standard uh, if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure I hit 100% no need to you know what you can watch the video you can get the views up or you can not watch it and you know take my word for it that I got everything right whichever you want to do you know but now I think it's time to just get into it to showcase this deck in its brawl format and show why I think that it could potentially become something standard worthy And this is a good hand. One of the big fixes to standard, obviously the version of the deck, is the four of lands, which is really one of the most important things. Swamp is probably going to be the most important color, and there's a good chance I'm not going to have two basic swamps in the deck. So we're going to start off with Priest of the Forgotten Gods, play Cranko on three, because we want to be able to sacrifice it and we're not going to be able to do the sacrifice properly on curve if we play the tap land then play Cranko then play the priest because it's going to have uh, summoning sickness so we're going to play out priest even though it's really just going to tag in for one 
Now we'll play Cranko, and next turn we could just go off. The knight deck that we're playing against is also very interesting. The commander has the obvious potential of being crazy in conjunction with Colossus Hammer. There's been a couple of decks that I've tried to cheat Colossus Hammer into actually being a card <laughs> rather than just the jank nonsense that it is. One of them was with Sahili and using her minus ability to make one of the artifacts copy Colossus Hammer's ability. It just was like very weird and it didn't work often. And now, yeah, here we're just gonna play this land, sacrifice Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Then we're probably gonna play one of our five drops. I don't think we have the mana to play Corvold, and we don't want to anyway because we'd either have to sacrifice a land or we would have to sacrifice uh, one of our good creatures in Cranko or Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Because these two goblins are going now. But yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of options with that knight deck. So knights are almost surely going to be a thing. I'm not sure if that's going to be part of it. It's very expensive, and you know, but it could draw you a card immediately if you have something pressuring on the board already. So hopefully it's good. We're going to play Moldivine here just to be mana efficient. Was thinking more of the Prowler just to get some ramp, but we should have the ability to. Play Evolving Wilds, attack in with Cranko, get a three goblins, then play the, you know, Corvold, sack the third. Oh my god, Mayhem Devil's amazing. But yeah, then sack the third and then be good. Now they don't have creatures, that line's not completely necessary, but it still seems the best. Yeah, okay, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we draw a card. Still not 100% sure what we want to do. We're not going to use Priest this turn. The question is, we don't want to get Cor... We can't get Corvold out. So maybe we... Mayhem Devil with Evolving Wilds is cute. So let's see. Maybe they'll play something into it. try to get him next turn and then if anything we still get to just play Corvold naturally possibly sack something with priest but yeah having removal that's kind of like the, the deck has so many key pieces that removal against us is more important than us removing their creatures you know like we're proactive enough to really do work unfortunately this mayhem devil trigger is not going to be enough to kill midnight reaper but that should be fun. Oof, like that card too. So yeah, this is another one where I'm not 100% sure we're going to... Uh, oh, yeah, whoopsies. I didn't actually mean to do that. But that's fine. Um, we're just going to do that so we can attack in. Like, it's really just offering the trade. I think the damage is the same. Either we get in with both of them or we don't do that and he blocks with one of them. So I think it's fine. It just, uh, we messed up. We played that, uh, we clicked the wrong thing. We probably should have, even though our lands are looking bad, we probably should have sacrificed the land and, uh, kept the priest and used that to get rid of everything. Attacked in with Mayhem Devil, gotten those triggers, gotten the two extra man. <laughs> yeah, it was a better play. We, we messed up by clicking Priest of the Forgotten Gods by accident. And it's still, you know, we're still well in the lead. Because now, yeah, Corvold with Mayhem Devil is just... It's going to be good. Just It's just a free ping. This 2-1 is... Gonna get murked. Judith coming down also is gonna make it so we just get to light things up. Crystal Slipper is very good though. I want to see if that does anything in standard, but I doubt it.
I'm playing that first just to get a counter on Corvold. It's really not a big deal. Um, we'll do Judith. Then we'll just uh, swing. I think we swing one with everything. I, Mayhem Devil could die. Maybe we say keep him back. But let's see. We get to sacrifice. I want to say we sacrifice a creature so Judith will work. Maybe a land if we just want to chill. Uh, we'll do a land. And we'll uh, kill this. Really, this isn't even like optimal playing. This isn't even me like going really hard to make sure I make the right play. This is just a showcase of how good the deck can be. And right now, we're just in a position of working. Which is like, I, I don't play too much Commander, but this is like kind of how it's supposed to sync up. From what I've seen of it and what I've played of it, it's really just supposed to have like a real late game flow, talking to people, be like, oh, please don't kill me, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, this doesn't matter. Going right back to Clement Zoned, even though the, the game should be over. That's got to be one damage we do to him there. Unless he has a way to kill. No, it, it gets exiled to Clement Zoned, so no, there's a chance. But we should be fine. That should be it. And we can show our hand if we want to, but I think we'll just attack. No reason to BM. So that's the thing about this deck. Like I said, it's spiky because certain cards are so good. And there's just, God, there's just a need for them to remove your stuff or you just get the engine running. And I love that. This hand is less good. Um, the free mulligan is pretty clutch. We'll do that. The egg is good. Hopefully we can find this red mana. But if not, we got uh, we got some three drops to go on. And this one's not going to be as fast that we're going to be itching for it. That's the one thing with the sacrifice deck. There needs to be probably some better one and two drops. But I think that's where Gilded Goose is actually going to come in strong. It's got to be able to fix our uh, mana. It's got to be able to ramp us. Or it could just be a point of two sacrifices. Oh my god, we messed up again. As you can say, you can see, we're taking this real lightly. We're, we kind of aren't caring as much as we should. If this was like a real ranked match, we would just like not be clicking away. <laughs> I, oh God, I hate watching myself do this. But alright, we're just going to play it out still. Um, yeah, and this deck that we're playing against is good also. It has, like, once this engine starts running, I think it's even more dangerous than ours because we have to sacrifice stuff in order for our thing to work. They just keep playing threats and keep drawing cards. Their biggest problem is finishing, though. And that's the reason why I don't see that one coming into standard because it loses, like, it loses a bunch of cards. Maybe there's something in there that's going to be, like, a really good finisher, but... I don't see that one really going hard. I don't see that one actually making it to standard. It's a good one though. It's a good card. Uh, we're gonna have to kill that later. I think we could use that. We could play Corvold. We could make a sync of a few things. I don't know. I really don't know what the right thing is, but I think we'll go Priest and maybe Mayhem Devil. Just so we can like get some removal going. Who knows? We'll do that in priest. I think we're gonna do that simply because I, we're gonna want to sacrifice priest, and we'll probably play one more card that we kind of don't need. But if we play something like mm, I don't know, Zonia or something, should be good. Let's see what they're doing. But again, I'm thinking in like standard terms, but we're also playing another Brawl deck. So they're going to be taking it slow too. We're both just going to be cooling out. This should be a good turn. It sucks because we can only play one of these reds. And I think Judith is the answer. But Mayhem Devil might be it too. Yeah. 
having only run red mana is tough, but again, that's something that's going to get fixed when uh, going into standard. Even, okay, just thinking about this in fun terms for Brawl decks. Mm, right, I can do that. But yeah, just thinking in terms of Brawl decks, like spicing this one up, this is going to be my favorite to clean up. This is going to be my favorite to clean up for sure. Okay, so we get to kill that. Hopefully, we need to play this. Then we need to sack two things. It sucks that we're gonna have to sack something good, but um, yeah, killing the commander and this two-two is just too good of a play. Um, we're definitely doing the, the thrashing with Brontodon. That's dying. The question is, what else dies? Um, hmm. I'd say Judith. Mayhem Devil, I think, is better. Ah, that's a bunch of triggers. That's the spicy. So now we really just need to kill this, and then we'll just go rest to the face because the priest trigger is going to make him sacrifice that thing. The commander. Oh wow, okay, they don't want any more. So that's just a quick highlight. There's a there's a lot to the deck. I probably had more recorded, but I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Either way, that's really it. Just a quick little show of some of the new cards. Stuff that's gonna be hopefully in standard. Who knows? But until then, peace out. God, another sign. This is inspiration.